As summer comes to an end, One Cat's plans are just beginning. Good. I can finally harvest my catnip. So much rosemary, but so little catnip. I need to talk to Claire about this. Dee Dee, hungry! Then it's time to turn your food, big boy. I got a job for you. Follow me. A while ago, TT convinced Dee Dee to work for her with a few snacks. And it's finally time for Dee Dee to head off on its first mission. Did anyone follow you? Dee Dee, not no. Dee Dee, sleepy. This isn't the time to fall asleep. You have a job to do. Deliver this candy for me. Dee Dee, hungry. I'll give you a snack after you're done. Dee Dee, can't do that. Good boy, but remember, everything you get from selling the catnip is mine. If you even think about taking the payment of catnip, I'll take your face. Don't touch anything. The fate of Didi's fang hangs on the success of this mission. Judging by Titi's expression, Didi better not fail. You can do it, Didi. I believe in you. Didi, nervous. Oh, it's Mr. Didi. What are you doing? Didi, busy. What's up with him today? Sorry, Dodo, but Didi's too focused on doing a good job on his first day of work to notice you. Didi, bring catnip. Oh, that's music to my ears. Didi want snacks. Of course, of course. But I want a sample. Didi hungry. I need to make sure the product is good. Oh. <laughs> the smell, the color, everything's perfect. <laughs> ah! This is the good stuff. I put the payment in the bag. <laughs> Thanks for the candy. Oh. Didi's mission is off to a good start. Didi here with candy. Hmm, where did you get it? Didi want snacks. I hear you offer discounts for academic researchers. Didi hungry. I also want to use my student discount and academic parts. Didi, Oxen. Bargaining is also science. Candip is so good for the brain. Didi, bring candy. Yeah. Didi, hungry. Yeah. I don't think Didi's supposed to give away the candy for free. Well, he is new to the job after all. After a hard day's work, Dee Dee is exhausted. Even worse, he's also hungry. Despite that, he's still holding tight onto the bag. Dee Dee tired. Dee Dee hungry. Dee Dee sleepy. Unfortunately, it looks like someone made off with the bag while Dee Dee was asleep. How will he explain this to Dee Dee? the horizon. Hmm? <laughs> you lost everything? What's wrong with you? Didi only lost the bag. The bag was everything. If you can find the bag, you lose more than your bags. Didi not a bird. Poor Didi. He's on Titi's bad side now. That said, how will Titi find a bag? And who could have taken it? Well, when you need a mystery solved, there's only one cat you can turn to. Okay, let's begin negotiations. I did for 10 snacks! You've got a lot of nerve asking for 10 hard snacks. Oh, I think 5 
Maybe it's a reasonable amount. I'm not a reasonable cat. Oh, three! I'll find your bag for three snacks! Fine. Detective Lulu's on the case. In order to find the culprit, TT has sought out the services of Detective Lulu, the greatest cat detective ever known. Lulu has solved many famous cases, including the case of who ate the chicken snack yesterday. A thief always returns to the scene of the crime, so I look for evidence there. Hello, I'm Detective Lulu. Did you buy any candy from Didi? I bought some for academic research. How many snacks did you pay him? After all my discounts, I gave him one snack. Why? What happened? Did he lose his bag? Well, I don't know anything about that. Master Momo! What is it? Did he lose his bag? Do you know where it could be? He lost his bag after I paid him five snacks? What a waste of good snacks. Why? Professor Coco only paid one snack. Only one, you say? I could learn from him. Hmm, this isn't working. I need to go undercover. <laughs> Once I got my paws on the thief. Oh, have you seen Daddy's bag? Meow. I can't find any evidence. Meow. The thief must be a criminal mastermind. Despite asking around, Lulu's investigation is going nowhere. Just who could have taken the bag? Boss! Boss! Oh, Dodo? Boss! Big news, boss! Oh, Dodo, nice timing. We have a job to do. Boss, something amazing happened! Oh, Dodo? You... Oh, boss? What's wrong? Oh my god, that's... Detective Lulu has always been fearless in search of answers. But now that he's so close to the truth, he may wish he'd never found out. <laughs>